in his territory. In another development, the African Pharmaceutical Forum has called for holistic regulation on online pharmacy practices, which is becoming increasingly popular in the African continent. In view of the challenges posed by COVID-19 pandemic, which has brought about a new normal in doing business across the globe, the president of the APF, Dr. Propa Ieg, who led other speakers at the fifth regional forum in Lagos, Nigeria, noted that as the potential of the online pharmacy is growing on the continent, there is need for African leaders to put in place regulations that will guide the distribution, sales and consumption of drugs by the people. The guest speaker and lecturer at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, Ghana, Dr. John Seb Mafo, while speaking on the theme, Technological Innovations for Pharmacy in Africa amidst the COVID-19 pandemic, urge African pharmacists to adopt the new normal in order to survive the pressures on demand, distribution, production and sustainability of the growth of the sector. Other speakers which included the Registrar Pharmacy Council of Nigeria, Elijah Muhammad, said the agency is already putting in various technological innovations to improve regulatory efficiency and benefits to the public. COVID-19 has had a major impact on all of us, especially the pharmaceutical industry. Though challenging in most cases, it has brought in this week a lot of technological innovations. I've described some up here. And I must say, for competitive advantage, it is only the pharmacists and the pharmacists that choose to be technologically oriented who stay at the top. People working on the law should sit together and see how to protect the product and how to protect the patients so that the patient should have the good quality have access to the good quality medicines not to fake then for that we need to put many people around the table to understand that drug medicine are special products are not common products like cigarettes or anything. You need a strong regulation, but we need a strong regulation for all the countries. That's why we are working hard for AMA, for the AMA Treaty, the African Medicine Agency Treaty. It is important for the, our, uh, our countries to support that treaty. The emergence of the COVID-19 pandemic, there are some distortions along this line of chain of communicating or delivering drugs. We found out when people, the government prescribed lockdown, people were sick and they needed to get their medication. And so it means also government should reflect with the regulatory bodies to look at how do we then empower the pharmacists to be able to deliver drugs online when people cannot go out. At the same time, those drugs will be safe and efficacious and affordable. Those are issues. This one will be Interpol because Interpol will be very, very important in regulating online pharmacy because the online pharmacy may not just be restricted to Nigeria in operation. So if we have to deal with them, then we have to call in the Interpol to pull down and do arrest. So I think that's the little I need to say for now, but I want to assure you that the Federal Ministry of Health and uh, its regulatory body, uh, PCN and NAPAC, we are set for the online pharmacy practice in Nigeria. I want to assure you the Nigerian people will be better for that.